Coates, 9500, coming at you. It is Wednesday. It's around 7.42 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I had something weird happen to me today. I was watching my TV, like I always do. And I've been watching the TV probably for five or six hours a day. And um, it was a rainy day today. It rained. And... Um, I drove to my spot, you know, I shut the van off and get my TV set up and stuff and watch my TV. And then when I get done with it, I just always put it back in here. And um, it's a Samsung LED. It's real energy efficient. But I've been using it a lot and I haven't been driving the truck a lot. I mean the van a lot. And anyways, I get done watching TV and I said, oh, I'll get some sleep. I'll go to sleep for a while. So I did. I went to sleep for a while and I got up around... I don't know, it was like 4.30, and by the time I got dressed and got everything all folded back up, first thing I usually do is I go over and I hit the I hit the, the lock on the door to unlock the two doors, because I always leave this door over here unlocked, because I always go out there, but even when I'm sleeping, I always leave that one unlocked, and I leave the two front doors locked and the, and the back door locked. So anyways, hit the button, nothing, nothing. What to turn the key? So what's going on? I turn I turn the key on the on the van and nothing, nothing. There's nothing there. There's no power at all. I it the battery was so dead. It's like there wasn't even a battery in it. There wasn't even like there was nothing there. What is going on here? So anyways, I went out and popped the hood and. I mean, it looked all right. I mean, I couldn't tell. I mean, it was dead. So I just, I went over here to the side box, got my jumper cables. But I had, I also had these cables here. Now, these cables here hitch to my generator. And the generator puts out about 8 amps. So I probably would have had to sit there probably for, I don't know, maybe an hour, two hours. Uh, I don't know, maybe not that long. I don't know. But these are jumper cables that hitch to the generator, my Honda generator, and it'll charge the battery. So I might have had to sit there two hours. And I never, it was stone dead. Maybe because I've been running the TV a lot and not driving the van around a lot. I don't know. Um, but they get the, where I parked, they got these kids with the four wheel drives. And they were coming up about the time I was getting out of my van to go get my jumper cables. And they go around the parking lot, spin around, act like a bunch of idiots and do donuts in the park. They got their four wheel drives. So I went over to one of them. I said, look, I says, I got my, my van won't start. Will you give me a jump? I, he said, I ain't got no cables. Well, I said, I already got the cables. He said, all right. So he came over. And just a minute, I had my cables already hitched up to the battery. Just the second that he hitched it to his his uh, truck. You heard it. You heard it. It's like, like, uh, it, it's like you could hear it. Just put the power to it. And I just, I could, once he got it hitched up, I went over and I just turned the key. Instantly it started. My van started. Instantly. So I drove over to, over to Walmart, shut it off, left it shut off for a while, went into Walmart, and uh, come back out, and then I went down to Murphy's gas station, and I got some more of those drinks. That's another thing I'm going to bring up, those drinks. Um, and it started fine. No problem. I don't know if my battery's going. Uh, I bought that battery last summer. That battery's not even a year old. I bought it brand new. It was a two-year one, a good battery. Uh, but... I don't know if it's the battery or the alternator's not putting out enough charge. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to take it tomorrow or the next day and have them like, you know, go to a van somewhere and have them test the alternator and the battery. Uh, I know we got testers for that. See if the battery's any good or whatever, but, um, it might be my fault too. And, um, anyways, I got my own cables. I could have got it. I could have got it. Cause I had to, I had to generate, I was ready to get the generator out, but I said, you know what? It'd be easier just to have one jump me. And it was, it was just like, just like that. And there was power there again. I don't know. And then I go buy some more drinks. We know that they're $2.19 for one can. Okay. So anyways, I go to, I go, I go get two of them the first time. And uh, she says, uh, ring them up. They were $1.09 a piece. $1.09 a piece. I was like, wow. I, I didn't say nothing. I was like, okay. So I, I bought two of them, went back to my van. Put them in the refrigerator. I said, you know what? I'll go back and get another one. See what she charged me. So she charged me a dollar nine. Anyway, so I said, well, that's pretty good. 
I didn't say nothing. They marked two dollars nineteen cents. That's what I've been paying. So I just didn't say nothing. I just I don't. I think she rang it up wrong. The on register. I think she rang up the wrong thing. She rang them up these, but they're marked two dollars nineteen cents. So I said I didn't say nothing. And uh, got those cheap. And uh, I don't know about the battery. I don't know if it's the battery. If it is, then I got a two year warranty. And that battery's not even two years old. But uh, it might be me running the TV all the time, and I've been charging the, my phones off from that same battery, and I've been using it a lot. Um, I don't know if it's that or what it is, but uh, anyways, and uh, I'm going to get a pizza tonight. Um, I'm going to go, I'm right here in their parking lot, actually. Um, uh, Little Caesars Pizza. It's kind of the low-end pizza, but it's not like uh, the good stuff, but it's, hey, it's five bucks, right? So anyways, that's what I'm going to do tonight.